Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video. This video will be presented by Khulud Fatma Muhammad Afaq Zafar and I Tansir Heather. In this video, we are going to discuss attitude control of satellite, perturbations, actuation, mechanisms as well as attitude determination methods. In orbital mechanics, we consider satellite as a point mass so we can apply Newton's law to a single particle by considering motion of its center of mass only. But in reality, for precise measurement and collection of data, it is very important to determine the attitude dynamics of satellite. The attitude is the satellite's angular orientation with respect to a reference frame. Attitude dynamics is the study of a satellite's rotational motion about its center of mass. The gravity gradient torque is inversely proportional to the distance r. The gravity torque is given by the following formula. For attitude dynamics, gravitational force acts on the satellite's distributed mass and satellite will experience a larger attractive gravitational force on its lower side below the orbital path compared with its upper side that will result in a net torque about the mass center. The magnetic torque on the satellite is given by the following formula where B is the magnetic flux density of the central gravitational body. The satellite's magnetic moment could be due to the permanent magnet on the satellite or electric current flowing through the circuits. The planet's magnetic field is inversely proportional to the cube of the distance between them. The solar radiation pressure may create rotational forces. SRP torque is typically the dominant disturbance torque for geostatic satellites in high orbits. In aerodynamic torque, drag perturbs a satellite's orbit. The same drag force will result in a net torque if the aerodynamic center of pressure is offset from the satellite center for mass. So why do we need satellite stabilization? Satellites must take precise measurements from their place in orbit. A satellite's measurement and picture will be inaccurate and fuzzy if it is not stabilized. To stabilize a satellite, the satellite must have a system that keeps it moving evenly through its orbit. Following are the methods used for attitude control stabilization, spin stabilization, spun d spun, reaction wheels and jet thrusters. Spin stabilization of satellite. Spinning a rigid body gives it angular momentum and gyroscopic stiffness or resistance to disturbance torque. In spin stabilization, the entire satellite spins, which means that the satellite's attitude is very stable because the satellite as a whole acts as gyroscope. Spinning can be achieved using Faraday's law. When the satellite's rod's magnetic field interacts with Earth's magnetic field, the rod begins to spin. An advantage of spin stabilize is that it requires very less power. But the disadvantage is that the solar panels cannot collect all the power all the time. Spun despun. In a spin stabilized satellite, whole satellite spins the antenna and other parts will only point towards their target once every rotation of the satellite. If the antenna must be pointing towards its target all the time, it could be mounted on a platform which is despun. Equipment on a despun platform will point stably in the same direction all the time. For example, NASA's Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecraft. Galileo's spacecraft, etc. 3-axis stabilization With 3-axis stabilization, satellites have small spinning wheels called reaction wheels or momentum wheels that rotate as to keep the satellite in the desired orientation in relation to the Earth and Sun. If the satellite's sensor detects that the satellite is moving away from the proper orientation, spinning wheels speed up or slow down to return the satellite to its correct position by keeping the total angular momentum conserved. Another way to stabilize spacecraft is by using propulsion system thruster to continually nudge the spacecraft back and forth to keep it within a range. The force of a compressed gas that when sent out causes the satellite to move in the opposite direction. The desired torque from the PD must be mapped to the desired thruster firing such that a combination of thruster produce the desired torque. Purpose by a thruster could be found by following matrix. However, thrusters are very heavy and uses a power. The attitude determination and control system comprises of types of actuators, sensors, and attitude determination board. As the attitude sensor, a sun sensor and magnetometers are selected, and MEMS gyroscope was chosen as inertial sensor. The actuators are three external reaction wheels and three magnetic torquers. Magnetic field model. Several different geomagnetic models can be applied for attitude determination in conjunction with magnetometer. The most basic is a simple dipole model which can be described by the magnetic field vector in orbit frame by the following relation. 
Sun vector model. To find direction towards the sun, several models can be applied. The simplest is to divide a circle into 365 days and have a vector that always points towards the sun. Then by knowing which day it is, find direction towards the sun by converting time and date into Julian date. This method is not very accurate. We hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.